Greetings from More, which is the smuggling capital of India, a small town on the India Myanmar, about to get run over, India Myanmar border. Burma, as we say in English, is a town that is known throughout the region as a place where drugs and people and exotic woods from the teak forests of Myanmar are brought across illegally across the border. So let's have a little look around. Here is, in fact, many teak things that have been made. Some beautifully intricate. Slam alaikum, sir. Medeko koi badni. Akadukan. Medeko akadukan. Medeko koi badni. Me akadukan deko. Acha, acha, acha. Danibad. You can see this is all teak that have come from the endangered forests in Burma and the headboards and stuff. It's really something in this region to have a carved headboard to make some sweet love on. I can imagine these are very expensive. That's how it is here in the town of Moore. Yeah, so. Danny Bai, sir. Danny Bai. Yes. Ah, I told him I'm sir. Danny Bai. So, things, trees are taken illegally from the national parks of Burma and they're smuggled across. It's a big operation. And then they're brought to India and they're carved into, into doors and beds and what other kind of things you can think of. That's why the deforestation of Burma is happening at such a rapid rate. Smuggling to Thailand, into here. Yeah, so it's an interesting little town. People told me when I was in Imphal, in Imphal, the capital of the region, they said, be careful in this town, but it has a really dark underbelly. Um, a lot of things are controlled by the Indian army. A lot of the smuggling, you know, they facilitate the smuggling of goods across the border. Apparently, I don't know. That's just what I was told. And so the state of Manipur where I'm in is a dry state which means that you can't buy alcohol here. Um, but here you can buy alcohol, because the alcohol is brought illegally across the border from my armor, where it's quite cheap. So I'm causing a little bit of a stir here. Let's just say there aren't many tourists in this town. So um, I get a bit of a stare. I've already been told off once by the army for filming here. But um, what can you do? I think it's okay, surely. Over there's a guy having his hair cut. Let's carry on walking around and look around, see what we can find here. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. You okay? Yeah. Okay, good. The people here look very Burmese. They have like, I don't know if people have seen pictures of Burmese women before. I've seen it in National Geographic, things like that. And they paint their faces with a white cream. Um, <laughs> and, um, well, the women here do that too. Hello, brother. You okay? Yeah. Your shop? Nice things. I like your chair. I would feel like a boss sitting on that chair. And here's someone else. Hey, cut their cards and some stuff up. Right, no. Hello. Hello, sir. So it seems that first of all they draw on the pattern and then they, they chip it out. Wow, there's more here. There's so much teak here. Hello, sir. Wow, more teak, more furniture. Yeah. This is yours. Can I look inside? It's possible. Yes. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. This wood, it all comes from Myama. A chair. Wow. How much is a teak door? If I want to buy one door, how much? We Maybe. You can see it will be around 8,000. 8, so it's like basically 100 pounds or 130 dollars US. Okay, real teak. Oh, solid. Wow. Yeah, the best in the world, right? Do you export to different countries or no, you sell no, it to Indian only people? Indian. Only to Indian people, yeah? Wow, expensive doors. But there's some rich people. Maybe that guy in... Huh? Ah, many rich people. This guy who lives in Mumbai with his big house. He can buy one. In Manipur only, yeah? People like to have teak so much. Oh, you got lots of stuff here. Beds and doors and... Well, that's it, but okay. Hey, I like it. How many years have you been in this business? About four years. Four years. And you are from Manipur? From Bihar. Ah, oh, you're from Bihar. And when did you come here to Manipur? Uh, my father and the king. Right, right, right. How is life here? Good. Like it? It's good. Yeah, you're a rich man selling expensive doors. <laughs> nice to meet you, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're from this country. I'm from England. So there you go. It is a smuggling town, right? People bring from Myanmar, they bring this stuff across the border. 
So I feel bad for the forests of Myanmar. I imagine they're being devastated. So people in Imphal, in Manipur, can have nice beds and nice doors. It's a real pity, right? Anyway, let's carry on walking up here. There's a guy there selling his um, juice. Sugarcane juice. Now look here. This is nothing like Delhi, right? Here we have palm trees growing. Banana plants over there and everything. We're really in Southeast Asia here more than we are on the Indian subcontinent. Um, it's a completely different feel. How the people look, the languages. This is more Myama, this is more Thailand, this is more Laos, really, than it is India in a sense. And that's why here in this village, or sorry, in this area, they have, a, um, they have an insurgency problem and they have um, a part of the population that would like to be separate. But anyway, that's for another day. has a real um, wild western feel to it. We're right on the border. So if you think of the map of India, if you don't know the map of India so well, you don't know the region, right on the very eastern edge, as far as you can go, is this town. It's the end of the road, the last town in India, basically. 100 meters down that road, where we just walked from, is Myanmar. And beyond that is Mandalay and Rangoon and stuff. So anyway, that's it. Hello, guys. Being followed, my fan club's following me in Moray. So yeah, so a lot of the people who come across here also are Burmese and they speak Burmese. Okay, there's a border separating Manipur, this state, from Myanmar, but still, you know, tribes were on both sides, people were on both sides when the borders were divided. And so, there are people here who speak Burmese better than they speak Hindi. People who speak Burmese better than they speak the language of Manipur. What's this place up here, a temple? There's a lot of Christians in this area. But here's a Hindu temple up here. I don't know which god it is. Um, Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Ah, how are you? How are you? Nice you? you speak English? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. What's your names? I like your earring. Everyone has an earring. Wow, why is that? Even boys have earrings here. In England, if you wear an earring, people are going to think something about you. But here is cool. What's this you got here then? Here, okay. Marbles. Ah, marbles. Oh, I see. Okay. Got you. Got you. The marble players. Are you all friends? Yes. Brothers, sisters? No. No. Just friends. Yes. Okay. Nice to meet you guys. Have fun. Bye bye. 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 And so there you go. The kids of More. Hope they weren't smuggled across the border. Here's someone selling some sugar cane. Let's have a look. There's the sugar cane waiting. Hello, sir. Here's some more teak over here. And up here are the houses above the shops. So below you have the shops and hello. Namaste, namaste ji. Hello ji. And up here are people's houses and here are the pigeons that they're feeding probably. Your shop? Your shop? Yes. Furniture? Ah, teak. Yeah, teak. Wood from Miami. Wow, beautiful things. Ah, more beds. Yeah, expensive, beds. I think very expensive. Yeah. Bod Mahenga. How much is a bed? Kidna Pesa. One bed. Kidna Pesa. How much? This is 515 uh, feet. How much? This is 515 five feet. Okay. It cost 13,000. 13,000? Yeah. For both or for just the top one? Or for both parts? 13,000. 13,000 is $200. Yes. Okay, for a nice teak bed. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Everywhere here's teak, teak, teak. Smuggled wood. In this, the smuggling village of India. There's some women in there working. Hello, G. Don't think she wants me looking. There's a little lady cruising around. Hello. I like your sunglasses. Very nice, very cool. And here's some village people with baskets walking around. Hello. Nope. Not getting too many hellos back. I don't see many tourists out here. Oh, what's this cooking? Hello. Not one hello back. <laughs> I need to know how to say hello in my armor language. And here is charcoal. We have charcoal for people to burn on their fires. I suppose, I suppose people don't have um, gas so much out here, these village people. So they burn charcoal instead. 
Lots of little restaurants here, AC Hotel. I doubt it's AC, but anyway. It's got available chicken, pork, vegetables and fish. People here eat a lot of fish. They do some great fish curries here. But the food is very spicy up in this part of India. I mean, even for me, someone who's um, traveled a lot in India and can take spicy food. Hello, guys. Ah, oh, I got some waves back. Ah, oh, friendly people at last. I feel better now, more confident. But I'm not going to get mugged in this, the most dangerous town in Manipur. Um, and so, yeah, very, very spicy. Even for me, I mean, I've traveled all over India. I like spicy food. But when I tried some spicy food here yesterday, it was a little bit too much for me even. And here's some shops along here cool dude over there there's the rice hotel i like the name of that hotel the rice hotel what do you reckon what do you reckon to this smuggling town where's the heroin at any heroin anyone no number plates koi badni no number plate on the back a smuggled car maybe even the cars have been smuggled here wow look at this busy place wow hello sir me deko koi badni Let's go up here, look at this, all these people suddenly. Wow, it's a real cool one. Oh, excuse me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Don't be shy. Wow, fish. Okay. River fish. I think I'm freaking people out with my camera. They're like, please don't film me. And here we have vegetables. Oh, it's a little boy taking a dump. Wow, look at this place. What an amazing place. Hello, sir. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Hi. All kinds of stuff here. <coughs> yeah. Let's go inside the market. Let's check out inside. What a smell. Maybe it's from the rotting fish. Hello. Hi. Oh, nice one. I'm causing some merriment amongst the sellers. <coughs> There's so much spice in here, I can hardly breathe. I don't know if these people are from Burma or from India, where they're from. Hello. Up can up Burma se, Myanmar se, up yonse. She didn't understand any Hindi. Hello. Well, that was my lesson, not to speak Hindi out here. We're in the middle of nowhere. Maybe I'll be better off with English. Or maybe they just wouldn't understand anything I say. Oh, there's some animals up here. Let's check it out. Check out what they got up here. Wow, there's a little restaurant here. I like it. More fish. And here's the animals. The meat market is more there. I expect to eat some weird and wonderful things up here. And what's here? Hello. Wow, some fish. Hello, G. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Wow, what is this? Fish. Everyone's cooking fish. Big fish. Wow, what's this lady doing? Medeco. No problem, I look. I see. Wow, she's good with the knife. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's carry on. <laughs> what a place. Wow. It's like going back a hundred years in time. Here's the meat market. We have different cuts of meat. I have no idea what they are. Hello. Different lumps. And here is the restaurant. Everyone's coming for something to eat. There's a chai stall here. Over here we have some food. I reckon we should go and see. The Mom Senteri. Chicken chow, chicken kebab, omelette, momo. Oh, there's lots of pretty ladies about. <clears throat> Maybe I should find a wife here and settle in this smuggler's town. I can smuggle something, become a smuggler. Let's have a look up here before we finish. I always do that. I always want to finish and then I find one more thing. Some money changing going on over there. Wow, VIP? Silver Jubilee VIP. Ah, oh, good man. I'm hanging with VIPs around here. Here's the clothes market. Let's go down this alleyway, then we'll finish. Where you come from? You? Come from England. What? Yeah, England. England. And where are you from? From this town or 
Where are you from? I'm here. Okay, you're from More? Yeah. I see. Small town, nice town. What language do you speak? What language? I have. Yeah. That is something like English and Hindi. Uh, you speak Hindi mm. and Myanmar language? I don't know. No, you don't know. Okay. Mm. Okay, but you speak nice English. Hey, I'm making film. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm going to look down this little dirty alleyway. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. You okay? Yes. Good man. Let's check it out together. There are the jackets. Watch up. You, ah, have, to, you have to. Yes. Yeah. Let's look. Let's see what they have where, here. Where are you from? Brother? I'm from England. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. My name is John. John. From You're Christian. Yeah. I'm okay. Christian. Nice to meet you. I'm bald. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Let's take this two. Down here? This one. Okay, what's down here? Oh, I see. Different things. This is my auntie. That is your auntie. Oh, hello, auntie. Hello. And this is your shop. And these things are from India or from Myanmar? Supreme. Myanmar, Myanmar. Ah, from Myanmar? Yeah. Supreme. Yeah. Wow, from first Myanmar. copy. I like it very much. How much is Supreme? How much is Supreme? How much is Supreme? Huh? Exo. Doso. 200. Okay. 200 for Supreme. I like it. Hey, thank you. John, nice to meet you. Thank you for the little tour. Ah, you always meet nice people wherever you go, right? Always meet friendly people. All right. I think we've, um, we've had a look around. The difficult thing is in, in India, you never know when to stop filming. Like you say, okay, that's it, and then you meet someone else or you see something else, but okay, we've done it. We've had a little look around the smuggling village of More. All right, let's get out of here. I've got some more adventures to do.